Nigel, we're almost at the end of the training camp. How's it gone? Yeah, very well in terms of our ability to do the work that we wanted to do, both um, conditioning and technical stuff too. So, you know, even when Flem's shouting in the background. Um, no, it's been really good. The players have been excellent. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the levels of fitness that we currently have are um, very encouraging for us. There's been a lot of very tough sessions in <laughs> extremely hot conditions. Yeah, yeah. From what you've seen, how have the players coped? Well, they've done well because they... they uh, I think the first thing to acknowledge is the condition that they came back to pre-season. Um, we've been able to push them on at a, at a quicker rate just because of the, the levels that they're at. So um, many of the players have had personal bests in some of the runs that we've done and... They have a level of fitness which will uh, stand them in good stead for the season. So, you know, it's the, it's the second week and it's still mostly conditioning, um, but we've been able to do technical work too. And then tomorrow morning, there's another session this afternoon which will again be tough. And then tomorrow morning early we have a 11 v 11 which will, yeah, I think the players will be very competitive in that because if they understand the necessity for them to be, um, yeah, a part of a team, but actually they're playing for their place. So it's, it's, that's the best way, that's the best sort of environment to, to have is a very competitive one. We have a mixed squad here, experienced players, yeah. new signings, but, but also young lads, yes. Seb Palmer Holden, Duncan Idahan, yeah. who perhaps haven't, perhaps haven't experienced a, a training camp like this. How have they got on? No, they haven't. They, they, they won't have been... Um, involved in sessions like we've had but it's a great experience for them and, and they've they've performed here with um, you know they've held their own uh, they'll be at full stretch um, but like I say it's a good experience for them to be involved with the more senior players and our senior players are very good at um, looking not just looking after them but setting them standards which are uh, which are what we are looking for. Um, Pre-season camps are always uh, very much, in, in my mind anyway, about conditioning, but also about setting the, the scene for the season um, in terms of how we approach work and how we approach challenges. So no points to be won here. Uh, but there is certainly... Um, very important aspects of um, how we build a, 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 an effective team spirit. You know yourself because you came out with the staff yesterday. We had a bike ride yesterday and the players had a bit of downtime. And it's important for us too to, to enjoy each other's company and uh, have fun as well as working hard. So that's, that's what it's about. Good to get away, good to experience a different culture. I think everybody's really enjoyed the, the setting that we're in. It's, it's very peaceful here, but <laughs> it's a good place to it's a good place to to do the work that we need to do too. And you've got a new addition, a first team coach in Jason Ewell, somebody yeah. you know from your Southampton days. Yeah. Um, what will Jason bring to? Well, look, Jason's personality is different to um, some of the other staff in the sense that he's he's a much more uh, he's a quieter person. He's very thoughtful. He's played both Flem and myself. Uh, with defenders, so Jay's you know played a lot of his career as a as a forward or attacking midfield player. Um, I think he's a great addition for the club, you know. And I, I've spoken before about obviously Kingy making the transition to be a, a player coach this season, which will be good for him. But I also think it's really good to get talented uh, people within the club, whatever job that they do. So um, it, it's about trying to. Uh, again, develop a, a, a positive environment with the right types of people in here. And I think, you know, De Jason's really ambitious. He wants to manage himself at some himself at, at some point in his career, and uh, I think he'll be really good for for me, for the club, for the players. And it, it feels a very, very good fit. So, um, yeah, he'll 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 take a while to settle in, but he's he's observing quite a lot this week. And I think that's important too, because he needs to get to know um, how things how things work here. Because every every club has a, a different sort of dynamic, 
Um, but I'm delighted he's joined us because I think he'll be he'll be a very uh, positive member of staff this this season. We're all back at the Robins High Performance Centre next week. Yeah. What will be the main thing you take from this week into what is four weeks left until the start of the season? I think it's more what the players take because hopefully there'll be some clarity in terms of our uh, how we're going to play. So we get we get into the games um, next week, and I think that then becomes more competitive for us. Uh, it's all about the season, uh, you know the the results in pre-season are not necessarily important the performances are of course yeah, i want to see i would like us to to perform in the way that we are um aspiring to play during the season i think that's very important it, it's still a chance for the players to get their not just their conditioning right but their match day heads on too um so it will feel you know we're two weeks in it feels like we've never been away but i think looking at how how everybody on, on this trip is is approaching it is very very positive thanks for joining us Nash. yeah cheers no problem